Notts County talk on a Tuesday night, it's finished Notts County 1, Bromley 1. For me, it's hard not to feel a bit deflated after the way we finished the game. Uh, plenty of chances, but Jake, do you think that's points gained or points dropped? Ah, definitely points dropped. I thought first off was even. They're a horrible team to play against, though. Big units, aren't they? And they're just all physical, and the ref ref really didn't help us, especially the first half. Second half, it was a bit more 50-50, but some of the decisions were questionable, to say the least. Uh, but horrible big team to play against. But, you know, fair play to them. Credit. They came with a game plan, stuck to it, roll on the floor every five minutes as well. But, you know, it's what, it's what it is. Yeah, I do feel like we... As much as I don't want Knotts to be that team that are rolling around on the floor and, and trying to win things, I think we've got to be a bit smart with the referees. Yeah, they, they were, it was biting for every every minor challenge, but that's especially in the first half. Um, and they missed two very clear handballs in the second half, which was disappointing to see. Uh, but on the on the other hand, you know we did get a couple of free kicks that we d deserved, and you know he wasn't too brandishing his yellows around. He was a bit lenient with those. Mm. Um, I know we can talk about the ref all day, but I think. I, well, I said that's probably the first time I've actually had a poor referee all season, I think, to, to my knowledge, any game that I've been to, which is a good thing, I think, for the National League. Yeah. But I think more on the game itself, you know, we've got to be more clinical. We've got to be better than that today, I think. Yeah, talking about that, very even, like you said, first half. Second half, Kyle Cameron pulls out that from somewhere. And then for about 10 minutes, you're thinking, we've just got to go and kill the game off. Yeah, wonderful strike, you know have that in his locker and I thought I, I said it on Saturday in the, in the chat we did that I thought both Cameron and Rawlinson were fantastic as well as I forgot to mention Brindley as well I thought all three of them and I think they were good, they were good again today I know their goal was a scrappy goal line effort because they come off a, a parried shot out and there's not there's not really a lot you can do about it it's just the way it falls but yeah, I think I, I, I think we had the better of the second half that's the more disappointing thing and they never really looked to threaten uh, apart from the, the, the goal they scored but I, you never felt under the cosh by them they never pressured us really so Something that, something that does stand out for me is when Bromley scored, I mean, it's the only chance they had all second half. When they scored, you know, in previous weeks, they would win the team pressing to get the winner. Notts actually reacted incredibly well, didn't they? I, I'd say yes. But, and, and again, you know, we went at it, you know, phenomenal shot from Roberts towards the end to hit the bar. That would have been phenomenal if that went in. But it's, it's just one of those days. Cairo's just, chance. Cairo, I don't know what he was doing there, but, you know. He could have took a touch, but you know the pressure of the moment, isn't it? And you know you can never sort of get, you can't always get these things right. I think, uh, yeah, I, I just, I just, it's frustrating because if we want to really push for the, an automatic promotion spot, we've got to be winning games like this today. And I know Bromley form table, I think the top of the form table, I think they've won five out of the four out of the fast five. Six yeah. in a row, actually. And, you know, so you kind of can't take it too much for granted today. But you know we've got a couple of tough games coming up against Solihull and Grimsby. And you're thinking to yourself, it would have been really nice to have to have had the three points today, but you know. Yeah, we're travelling to Grimsby uh, together on Saturday, aren't we? Does oh. what does this result today mean about the Grimsby game for you? I'll be honest, I'd still take a point. Fair <laughs> but <enough. laughs> I think you've just got to be realistic, haven't you? I think you know we're kind of we're playing as a, a playoff contention team. You know, are we an automatic promotion side? On what we've seen so far, there's been games when we look like it. Uh, Saturday looked like it. Saturday looked like it, but then. Again, Stockport would get terrible, but I, I, th I think Bromley are a decent side. You know, we played we played all right against them. And Cameron got man of the match. I know there was a player that you were thinking probably could have got it. Yeah, Palmer. I thought I thought either of them deserved it. And but you know, as also the case for Jim O'Brien. I thought Jim was quite was fantastic today. It was hard to really pick out a bad performance. Vincent was worse than his last two games, um, but you know, it's, it's kind of expected. Um, but other than that, I thought Palmer was fantastic. So you need that calming influence, for, especially when they're coming at you with those big physical players. And say he's not the biggest or physical player himself, he's quite small. I thought he did really, really well. Yeah. And I thought Dion Kelly Evans did well today as well because he's yeah. a massive side compared to him. So, yeah, 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 very, yeah. very true. Um, we go to Grinsley on Saturday. Obviously, you'll be chatting to me after that game. Let's hope for a win. Cheers, Jake. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you.